Hi, this is Mike, and we're back again with another Game Creator 2 video. Uh, this time I'm going to take a look at the hotspot modes. So we have three modes that we can use for hotspots. We have in radius, which is what we've been doing. So we have, you can change the radius from which it gets activated, how close the player has to be. The other option is on interaction focus, which the play, if the player gets within their interaction range, then it will activate. So the player's interaction range is controlled in the motion interaction section. So by default, it's two, a radius of two. And if we look at the player, it'll show this green thing around them. So we could change the radius to something bigger, or something smaller. So that controls how close they have to get before the interaction on interaction focus where they start focusing on the object so now I change it to four so it will activate when it before the player gets closer than two like with after it gets to four units away so I'm closer than before and it's activating so so that's the focus range so it will activate when the character focuses on it. the other option is always active which then there won't it will always be active so if you want your tooltip text or whatever to show up above your all, all your objects that every all the time to make it easy easier for them to know what's interactive then you can have it all the time and then this the player won't actually keep looking at the object you, like if you go far enough away it won't but uh, then it will a little bit if you go towards it then it will start looking again but if you move away it won't but then you'll still look at it from way back here. So if you want your player to notice something in the distance, you could do an always active hotspot. And the other option is on interaction reach. The on interaction reach option is for, I believe, a point and click type interaction so if you change the focus to screen cursor because if with the mirror character it doesn't it never it will never activate if you change it to screen cursor then you'll see when I when the character is right up next to the object it will activate if depending on where my cursor is so right now it's hard to get it to there it is there. So it's it's very like difficult here. But uh, let's see. <laughs> there. So it, it, it's within reach. It's like it's supposed to activate whenever the hotspot is within reach, but the character is not focused on it. So and it's based on my mouse cursor moving around. So I think it's more for a point and click game possibly. Um, for that option so that is, are, is all the options that you have for uh, the modes for these hotspots so next time I will look at how do we interact with an object because uh, that is the next step you have an object that's advertising it's interactive but now you need to be able to interact with that object. So in the next video, we'll check out how to do that.